All right, so for this lecture, we are going to be discussing how we can find and remove duplicate values in our spreadsheets. Having duplicate values in your data can be a very big problem. It can lead to substantial errors and overestimate your results. So it's always a good idea to double check and see if there's duplicated values within your data so you can ensure that you have an accurate report. The good news is finding and removing duplicate values is actually quite easy in Excel. If your data is formatted as a table, all you have to do is click anywhere inside your table, go up to the Table Design tab, and then within the Tools group, we can select Remove Duplicates. And then our Remove Duplicates window pops up, and we can select the columns that we want to search for duplicates in. Now this table doesn't have a really good example to show duplicate values, so what I'm going to do is cancel out of this and instead, we are going to be working inside the Employee Data Sheet. So let's go back down to our Sheet tabs and select Employee Data. So when we are searching for duplicate values, we want to look in columns that have unique identifiers. And if we take a look at our data here, which columns do you think would have unique values? Well, the Employee ID number should be unique to that one employee. So no employee should share the same ID number. So that could be a unique identifier. Another unique identifier could be the phone number. Every employee should have their own phone number. But for this example, let's work inside the employee ID column. Currently, there are no duplicate values. So I'm going to go into this column and add some. So instead of employee number 1013, I will change this to 1012 to make a duplicate value. And then maybe down here at 1024, I'll change it to 1023. So now we know we have some duplicate values. But as of right now, if we just take a quick glance at this spreadsheet, we could easily miss those duplicated values, right? So to remove these values, we can click any cell within our data. And on this sheet, our data is not formatted as a table. So instead, we have to go up to the Data tab and in the Data Tools group, we can select Remove Duplicates. Then Excel's going to ask us which columns that we want to look for duplicates in. So I'm going to unselect all the checkboxes and just check the Employee ID column. And if I click OK, Excel says that two duplicate values were found and 46 unique values remain. I'm going to click OK. And if we take a look at our data set again, now we only have one 1012 and only one 1023. But using that method, we are just blindly deleting duplicate values without knowing exactly what we're deleting. So what I like to do is actually identify the duplicates first, then delete the duplicate values just to make sure I'm deleting the correct ones. So I'm going to undo this action so we can get back our duplicate values. Now we have two 1012s and two 1023s again. Now this time, what I'm going to do is select the entire column, come up to the Home tab, click the Conditional Formatting button, select Highlight Cells Rules, and then click Duplicate Values. Then Excel asks us how we want to format our duplicate values. Well, we want to format a light red fill with a dark red text. We can change this, but that looks good for now. And we can click OK. Now we can easily locate our duplicate values. Now for this example, we have a pretty small data set, so it's easy to scroll and find those values. But if we had hundreds of thousands of rows, it would take some time to scroll through and look for those formatted cells. So what I like to do is apply a filter or sort in this column to put all the duplicate values together. So to do that, we need to make sure that we have a cell selected within the column, come up to the Data tab, and select the Filter button. Now we can click this drop-down arrow, and then from here we have two options. We can either filter by color, where we can only view the cells that have a light red background color. So if we select this format, now we only see these duplicated values or we can sort by the formatted cells and place them at the top. So if I clear that filter, click this drop down again, 
and click sort by color, choose the light red color. Now our duplicated values are at the top of our list. And then from here, we can make the necessary changes to get the correct employee ID number. For example, if I change Melissa to 1013, now those cells become unhighlighted because there's no duplicated values. Or we can remove the duplicates. So I'm going to change Melissa back to 1012. Then come up to the data tab and select remove duplicates. Once again, I'm going to unselect all the columns and only check the employee ID column. Now one and very important thing to remember when removing duplicates is that Excel keeps the first duplicate value. For example, in our data, Brenda and Melissa both share the 1012 employee ID number. Once we click OK to remove these duplicates, Excel will keep Brenda and delete Melissa. And then for the 1023 ID number, Excel will keep Gregory and delete Dorothy. So that's very important to keep in mind. Let's see what happens. If we click OK, two duplicate values were found and removed, 46 unique values remain. And if we look at our data, Brenda and Gregory stayed, but Melissa and Dorothy got deleted. So even though removing duplicate values in Excel is fairly easy and provides a more accurate report, we have to be cautious and make sure we are deleting the correct duplicate values. Because if we accidentally remove the wrong duplicates, that could lead to an inaccurate report as well.